All right, what it do? All right, so we're going to jump into it. So for all my box truck people, uh, I wanted to know how many people that's doing a box truck that's actually trying to actually drive the truck they sell and, and like go over the road and get it going that way versus a lot of people trying to get the trucks and put other people in them. I just had a, a mentee that I, I told him, I said, look, it don't don't be going to go get no super brand new. He went to spend like a hundred thousand on a couple of different um on each on box trucks and expecting to do Amazon relay. And I told him, I'm like, dude, that's gonna be the worst mistake you made. So guess what? Instead of him getting more box trucks, he's trying to get more semis. But if you if you literally trying to trying to get in the box truck game though, and you um <laughs> And you you gonna drive a truck now? It, now it ain't impossible in places like the Midwest, like Ohio is good. And the um for the box truck, Indiana good. The whole Midwest for the box truck been like phenomenal for real. I'm not gonna even stunt the 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 whole thing been good. In the Midwest, I have been seeing some loads, but as far as like the Southeast Florida, well Florida ain't really been good for nothing for real. But uh, yeah. So you got drive Atlanta. Do you know anyone in Atlanta who fixes the box on a box truck? Like, yeah, um, they these people I know were actually I know hella people. South Southeast Trailer should fix it, but um Forest Park, Forest Park Truck and Trailer, look them up on Google. They fix my box and they charge me like four grand. But they they said last time I called them, they said they was backed up for like two months. But yeah, because people be be crashing them, them box, crushing them boxes all the time. I am a box truck driver, been driving over the road in the process of on getting the semi, and had to learn the game and the industry myself. Oh yeah, for sure. See, those be the people I believe in. Like when you when you get it out the mud, you just understand it. It look, yeah, it's a little bit different. It's, it's a little bit different, you know. See what else we got. I have a semi and a trailer, but I need a dispatcher. Hey, I let your boy. We definitely looking for new new um dispatch clients. Hit me up. My email is info at kobepegway.com or even kobepegway at gmail.com. Hit me up on either one of those emails so we can get you signed up for dispatching. Definitely looking for more clients. And I'm still looking, even though I'm doing it, I'm still looking to teach people how to do the dispatch. See, we got PA. What up, John? Hey, Drive Atlanta. Also, actually, on Moreland 285, if you go, if you make a right or a left, it's it's a it's a bunch of trailer, trailer repair places up and down Moreland. My boy say Ryan Prince say he's gonna do the box truck. See your mindset. A a Ron a Ron Prince. What city you out of? I'm, I'm not interested to know. I see Patrick Holiday out of out of Florida. What you trying to do out of Florida? You trying to do that box of that semi? I see some likes coming in for Facebook. Where y'all at? YouTube. Go ahead and like this up real quick for the one time. So we got Atlanta, Atlanta. Atlanta, dang, it's a Atlanta deep up in here. Okay. How much is your class? I'm in Baltimore. Um, the class is if you if you if you book it while I'm on my live, it's three ninety nine. Patrick Holiday said he's trying to do both. I feel you. I am taking this box truck to the next level. Okay, that's what's up. Hey, hey, I took it to the next level. It, it, I struggled for some, struggled for about two years to make it happen, but I ended up making it happen. What I say, oh, let me see. I'm out of Connecticut, only 90 days in. Okay. Hey, Clifton Dennis, so, so, so far, what have you learned in your 90 days getting in the game? I wish this was like IG man where I could bring somebody in so it could be a um we can actually talk about it. 
I'm trying to do team driving with my brother in a box truck over the road. Is that a good move? With your brother, it could potentially be good, but a lot of times people get sick of each other uh, being on the road. In a box truck, in a team, unless you're without a sleeper, it ain't going to, y'all still going to have to stop and get a hotel room because that's going to get tired after about 20 hours. I done done it before and I done had drivers to do it before and it just, and it never works out long term. That don't mean that y'all can't do it. I'm just saying for us, and I know um, I'm sure Mike Mim tried it. Um, he got a YouTube channel. It didn't really work out for them either. What up, Kobe? I'm in Maryland. You familiar with trailer repair shops here? Oh, no. Nah. And I live in Atlanta, so, and, I, and, and I'm from St. Louis, and I used to live in Phoenix. So those places, I'm either going live out at one of those places or I'm either traveling to one of those places because those – those those are all all like my spots where I had a home at. So and I was there for a while. What up, Henry? I ain't seen you in a minute, man. Where you been? Where you been? Two months in the box truck game. It is just me. Or is it the rates low and the gas is high? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Now you can get it in on the road if you if you want to make some money, go up to like my hometown. Go go to come to St. Louis. Um, go to like Indiana, go to Ohio. You will make a killing in those areas. And that's the thing. You gotta be willing to to move around in this game to make it work until you find your sweet spot where it is that you want to be. Most people are failing simply because they trying to they trying to make the game change for them, like right now, like no. You got to play the game, and then once you get experience, then you can start shaping it up to you. But, you know, like I said, easier said than done. Is the Northeast a good area? It's not the worst. California, well, not Florida's the worst, but Cali is probably, like, next worst. Northeast, I can make it, I can make some shake. They have some good, some good rates. The only thing is the Southeast has, I mean, the Northeast has a lot of tolls. So, with all of them toes is gonna eat up into your profit. So, but definitely, definitely anywhere it could work. The question that everybody gotta ask themselves is, are you gonna work? Because in some places it's gonna be a lot harder. Like the box truck can work, it's just a lot more work than the semi game. So all my box truck people, people been hitting me up. I, I'm actually got like I said, I'm actually mentoring and I'm setting up somebody's business for the box truck and all of that. But they doing it they self. I completely believe in that vision to do it yourself, and then started to spread out trucks, you know, over time. I, I mean, that just makes the most sense to me. Clifton, Clifton Dennis, I've learned finding loads that pay. What YouTubers advertise as hard as hell in the beginning. Amazon is everything at this level. Yeah. Um. Hey, I kept it one thousand with y'all about it. Like. It's a good thing. Like I said, I just caught some, some good ass loads last week. I ain't find none this week, but I got 1700 on 200 some miles, 1500. I got a, I got about three or four real good loads, and that's how it is. Amazon is just one of those things I do. And I switched up some of my cameras up. Anybody that was on my last live on Thursday, um, I got me a new cam link. So hopefully. Everything should be good. I ain't feel like whipping out my mic and all of that. That stuff be getting discouraging. So let's see what we got. Six months in the game. I don't know what's this. Ready Rock 51. Six months in the game in a box truck game. What is the best way to find box truck contracts? Like I said, you got to get creative with one truck. Contracts, I don't know. Most contracts, they're gonna want you to have a backup driver, backup truck. Um, you got a lot. Some coaches out here tell you that you all you need is one truck, but I I, had, I didn't figure it out with one truck. I didn't I didn't make hundreds of thousands until I had multiple, and I still wasn't making the money that I should have been making, given how much work I was putting in. I never like I I should have been made. I should have been probably made about at least about seven eight million in a year off of how many I had like twenty box trucks at one time. There's no way I shouldn't have been making. It was great money for where I come from, but not for the work that I was doing. Not considering that 
you putting bees, the same diesel fuel in a box truck as you putting in the semi truck. You taking it to the same freight line of shop if it break down or Hino shop or whatever shop. So I feel like that ain't the game ain't fair in that way. Amazon contracts is a hit or miss. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I had rocked them out in December because they was they was giving us like 2400 um for like 800 miles. So that was 800, 900 miles. So that was cool for some power only, but I mean <laughs> You gotta, I mean, you gotta get it how you live for real. And like I said, everything is about time. And so like right now is January 11th and I'm making this video for y'all. Next week, the game could be different. Cause like just two weeks ago, I could barely get $900 covered out of North Carolina. Now I'm getting 12 and 13. It just depends on the time. So don't ever get caught up in like, oh, how is the game? Is it the game particularly like like this or like that? You know, it's, it's it's timing. It depends on where you at. It's too many different variables to be like, oh, the game is this all the way around. I didn't have bad weeks. I didn't have great weeks. I didn't make. I didn't like last year was an okay year, but 2020 I I smashed it. You know, but last year it was a lot of um, bumps and bruises because of trucks breaking down. Um, part basically just truck breakdowns is just what killed is what what been having me down. I, like now, like keep in mind, you got to think about before getting in this game. You're gonna need you a credit card or something to hold you off. Because keep in mind, I got four trucks that've been down for at least four months. It just been rotating. One truck will get fixed, another truck will go in. So in that process, you got to make sure you got some money because I still had eighteen hundred to two thousand on insurance. That I had to pay, and I still got a truck note on some of the trucks I just bought. So that's three grand times that three grand by four trucks. That's twelve thousand. It been like that for three months. That's thirty six thousand on it lost. My first year only made thirty six thousand, so I lost my whole first year profit in the last three months because I scaled up. I got bigger, but now it's the bigger you know, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. The more the more shit that could go wrong. So. Scaling up and CEO has his own problems. Only thing is, I, I wouldn't really call it a loss because the other trucks still help me balance it out, though. So, so let me jump into some of these questions. What's good? The inspired trucker. Okay, what's this? What's good? Hey, hey. Anybody in here trying to just trying to message and ain't not message. I don't know if YouTube got this thing where you got to be subscribed now. I'm, I'm trying a couple of new settings. So forgive me. I'm going to be on content hard. Y'all going to see a whole lot of me this year. I live at the border in McAllen, Texas. A lot of produce come through there. You think a refrigerated box truck could be a good idea to invest? I'm going to tell you this. It could be. Now, this is what you want to do. Call some of those companies that you see and ask them that question. Like, y'all got to call around. When I say it goes work, driver, then truck, I'm saying the work, just figure out what it is you're going to do. Get a little verbal agreement going with somebody. It ain't got to be like you got to have it all, all the way sold up. You, you, you don't have to have it all the way together at all to get it going. I'm in Florida. Why is why is it the worst? Just want to know what to look out for. What's the worst? Because trucking pays by geographical location. So Midwest pays the best, most directions you can go. Florida, you already the furthest south and the furthest east. And you can't go west if you're in Florida. Are you going to be in the water somewhere? Where? So it's only one way to go. North brokers know that, and they're going to target that because... That's just the way the game goes. Supply and demand at its finest. So let me let me get down there. He Freeman. Also, what's your thoughts on being passive in transportation and trucking? I work a full time in a tech field. Man, look. Shouts out to all of my tech guys that keep calling me my software engineers, trying to get the same question answered. And 
it could get passive. If you get a semi truck, you get a dispatcher. You just better hope you get a you hire a damn good driver and you get a damn good truck. If the truck without if the driver is solid and the truck is solid, you can hire your dispatcher and you can get money. Very possible for you to go from nine to five to entrepreneur doing it that way. But you like I, I like I would say the best case scenario would be like if your brother had his CDL and he was gonna run it for you and or somebody solid that you knew and you was buying like a brand new truck where it was not gonna be any problems. But buying like the type of trucks I'll be buying like 2016s with 700,000 miles on them. Ah, you just you you could you could plan for your truck to be down probably about a month after a year. So that's why I always say two thousand dollar average because I know even though I'm getting three and four thousand some weeks with those vacancies and those the, the downtime, you know, and then you still got to put it down for maintenance um, for just general maintenance as well too. So keep that in mind. You got to like I've been out to take a couple trucks off the road just for all changes. I look at the box truck engines like stock market. You just never know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's trucking period though. It, it all goes on where where the market is at. If it's snow, them prices going. Whoop, they gonna pay you. They gonna pay you a lot, a whole lot if it's um, a whole lot if it's snow out. Would you ever consider car hauling? Oh yeah, man. I like if I was in the game. If I fell off and y'all see me with a car hauling, just know I fell off and. That's the game I would play because car because for one I like cars, and for two, they always moving. Okay, and it's easy to get contracts. I feel like are consistent work because you can go get you like I mean y'all be seeing those strips where it's a whole lot of car dealerships. Like this picture, if you had like if they get like ten cars a day, if you could just get some business with like it'd be like one company own like five dealerships. So all you need is one contact. With them and they can keep you moving every day because they got cars they moving cars in and out every day so car hauling is definitely would definitely to me be a better thing especially if you're gonna do it yourself i just didn't like car hauling from a sense of scale because uh i'll be thinking people would like if somebody had like a hit i just could vision like one of my drivers seeing a hellcat on the truck and getting happy and just wrecking that motherfucker. Like, oh, I don't know, man. I just I just be like, oh, they get a Bentley and they want to get on FaceTime with their baby mama or something like that. And it's just cars, just, I don't know. Cars and other people, I, 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 ain't, I ain't really feeling it for real. Not at all. Have cash and credit available. Okay, hold on. I must have missed somebody. If I missed it, my bad. Are those Pinsky trucks? Or from Freightliner. The trucks I bought from, from Penske, um, yeah, is the six trucks I got now. And when I got the red truck I got from Freightliner. Cost 11000 to get that one out the shop tomorrow. Hey, it needed a new um, transmission cl clutch and some more shit. It, it didn't sound like $11,000 worth of shit to me, but I don't know how to fix the truck myself, so I'm going to have to pay it to get it out. The dog pound. <laughs> For real. Let's see. Why do I see the box truck cost more some box? Because, I mean, they're just the game. They never, that's why I don't understand. The only place, the only way I understand if somebody's getting into the box truck space if they're driving it because the, the cost of them are the same. So that's why I don't get it. Like, why would I go get a truck? Everything about the truck costs the same. Ain't nothing cheaper. The oil change not cheaper. For real, maybe by like $50 or something, but it's, I've had both of them, and they both expensive as hell. They both put you out of business with too many breakdowns. So that's all I'm saying. Like I don't, I, I don't understand the prices. Like the dude just spent a hundred thousand on some Mack trucks, and I spent sixty five thousand on some semis. Of course, his was a lot newer than mine, but and you also got to think the box is coming with the trailer too. So, but I feel when that mug break down, that cost. Be the same. How much can you make me if you dispatch my semi? Um, I'm averaging like seven thousand a week, so it just depends on what market I'm, I'm doing. About my truck that's in St. Louis is doing eighty five hundred to nine thousand, and on the southeast seven thousand, and the truck in St. Louis doing less miles. So, give you so you know I'm about to send about two or three more trucks up to St. Louis. So, 
Straight up. I'm about to have my whole operation out of St. Louis. For real. What website or application you recommend to start payroll? I want to hire a friend and myself to payroll. You could do QuickBooks or either you could do um, ADP. I would say try QuickBooks because then you can put your receipts in there. You could do your profit and loss, you know, to see how much money you're making and balancing it, all of that in one place. But get them likes up, y'all. Get them likes up. My brother has a CDL and going to drive for me while I work a nine to five. Plan our work and work out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's like I said, if you got somebody like my very first CDL driver, he and he was in a box truck for me, but he knew how to drive CDL. So my transition when I got started was easy. And I feel like that's what everybody's afraid of. Oh, I can't drive it. So uh, look, it's a lot of things you can't do, but you still get it done. You can't do her. You can go to the hairdresser. I mean, you're going to go get your hair done and still. Same thing with the truck. Whatever you don't do, you got to you find somebody with license that can do it and you pay them. You interview them. You look at their review. Look at the car they last job. Same way you do anything else. It ain't no different. How many trucks and trailers are you up to, Kobe? I'm at 11 trucks and five trailers. Stuck at that five because... They played me. I ain't gonna put big rig trucking on uh, big rig trucks out there in South Carolina, but I had I was supposed to be getting another six to match with the rest of my units, but of course I'm pretty sure Ryder or one of these bigger companies end up sweeping sweeping up under me. Now they telling me March. So that's that. But it don't matter because I run dedicated with JB Hunt. So I use day trailers most of the time anyway. So Insurance is needed to make an authority active, but what if you only plan on renting? Well, yeah, you still gonna need the um the insurance is the end all be all in anyway. So you still gotta put you gotta put the rental truck on the insurance in order to keep it active. As a new carrier, I'm staying in the southeast region, 500 mile radius, northeast. If the money is right, oh yeah, that's good. I still feel like that Midwest, like, I say go where the money is. I mean, if you got the time and the energy, like I said, if I, if I, if, if anything happened and y'all see me chopping out the Midwest in the car hauler or something, or the box, from box truck to car hauler, bro, hey, I'm just saying, if I did it all over again, I definitely would have just, just went, went to the Midwest. Any recommended places to park your truck if you can't park at home? Yeah, it's, it's plenty of places in your city. Go on Craigslist. Just go on Craigslist and look under parking and storage, and you should be able to find it. Or you can go on Google and um, just put in um, semi-truck parking. That's how I found mine. Understand accounting is a plus. It's a, it, it's been a gift. It is. Jermaine Brown, what it do? Gino Pesky wants three thousand a month, ten thousand dollars deposit. Is it worth it for a single action plus mileage? Depends on the work. I my I myself am not a fan of single axles unless. It's doing Amazon. If you got an Amazon contract, single axle will do you just fine. It will do you just fine. So, but yeah, that ten thousand man, that's standard right now. I wish I could get them ten thousand to give me, but I just don't want to. I want a tandem axle. I don't want no single. What lane in the Midwest do you suggest? I suggest um, Ohio, like Ohio to St. Louis. Um, what's some of the ones? St. Louis to Kansas City, Chicago to Kansas City, Chicago to Cleveland. I'm telling you, just ah, go on, go on that board. It'll show you. I'm gonna try to go live during the day, man. But it's been crazy. I wanted to go live to show you how to load board while it's actually while it's actually um, 
I'm trying to say, well, it's actually accurate. Because I'm reading your comments. So when y'all see me say, um, it's because I'm processing what I'm seeing and, you know, trying to multitask. What is the average price to park a box truck? I paid like 150. When I was in Phoenix, I paid like 125, but it's like 150. It's like 175 out here, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna run light. Yeah, and that, yeah, if you're gonna run light, that single axle is decent. But just hope that you got something locked in. Because young will, well, it's only a rental though. I would say don't go get no. I wouldn't go buy a single axle truck, but I would rent one. I have rented one. What low board you mainly use? I mainly use DAT. And the link, it should be actually in the video in the, in the um, it should be a link in the uh, in the description. If y'all if y'all click out of the chat in the description, I should have my factoring company and a lot of the people I use and stuff down there. Semi required. I semi required the CEO. That's why I went to the box truck. Right. Okay, I got you. I got you, man. Look, I'm telling you, you want to make some money. If I if I was in a box truck, literally, I I would take any I would I would go get it. Like if I if I did it all over again, I would have went, I would have went, and um, but that's convoy low boy right there. I'm always always got some work going. Hold on, let me cut this off though. Put it on focus. Do not disturb. Yeah. So so yeah, I mean, I would I would think I would go work for a company for like three months, get some experience, and then snag up that cdl i just pay them back with my own money and um and go get in the truck where that you can guarantee make a hundred thousand dollars profit guarantee you can do it because if you in the truck one thing about me being in the truck that i notice about my drivers is that the drivers don't care about the truck as much as i do so the drivers don't drivers don't really care so you gotta you got to think about if you get started, if you get to learning certain things about the truck, you know, then when then when you somebody tell you, oh man, it's it's like blinking, you be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's the Western car because you didn't drove it before. But I feel like it's just it's tougher for me. Not ever, like if I never would have drove to really kind of I wouldn't say something. It ain't impossible because people people do it all the time. But I, I'm just saying for me, like get a little bit of hands on, you know, before. Any recommendations on place to park? Okay, got that. Understand the count. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me go back down. What lane is it? Average price. I'm going live. Cash out this man so he go live during the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, look, man. That really be the thing, though. Like, last year... When I was super focused on content, that's why I'm trying to get to the point where I'm gonna pump out more content, where get more people back watching it, where it makes sense for me to kind of kind of do that and interject my day. But understand, consultations I'm getting 300 an hour, so it's like an hour on here just to get a game during the daytime or help somebody who's trying to patronize my business. I mean, that's just when I when I'm up again. So. Definitely, definitely. If I got, you know, if I knew it was gonna be some bread on it, I definitely would do that. But I feel like I give up enough to, um free game. St. Louis stand up for show. Sure. Yo, this Courtney with trucking out the box. We finally caught a lot. Oh yeah, what up, Courtney? What it do? Y'all definitely hit me in the email. We can link up. For real, man. If y'all, if y'all really trying to do it, I wanna. I would like to have like some of these like live, like an event where we got some food. And we could just like talk about it. Like I don't like the live. It kind of be like I gotta try to make sure I'm looking at the camera, and it'd be a bunch of extra shit. If I if we could just go chill in the room, you know, I don't really drink or nothing like that, but we could get like a little haul or something. Hey, we would get it popping and talk, get it popping with the truck. So I have a partner that's a broker at twenty five percent. What's the in me? What's the in me? I don't know what you're trying to say. Um, Kabar. Okay. Hopefully I said that right. But yeah, just um, run that back for me one time. Now I'm 90 days in. How long do I 
expand past Amazon. Can't keep all my eggs in one basket. What I'm putting in the search when trying to find and to make them calls. Um, when you you can actually go on DAT and just go to specific, and then just go to straight straight box truck on there too as well. I already know nothing outside of that because, like I said, with box trucks, I was I ne- I tried running them over road for two months, man. Never made sense. Had my CDL since 1999. Came back as on the operator in a box last summer for the low startup, and to get six months on my authority. Flipped semi last month with my nephew, and though difference is major. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Y'all get your CDL, please. Oh yeah, for sure. Like I said, if I had to do it all over again, there's no way I'm playing around in no box. I'm in a truck, uncomfortable, it stinks, smell like fumes. I'm getting all of the money. That's all I'm saying. Get it all. Get it all. Let's do it, bro. We can come to Atlanta, no problem. I I for sure. Hey, like I said, if y'all in the A, like I done had a few people pull up, pull up on me and do they um and you know and fuck with me for real so this is really free game prices oh yeah for sure that's why i'm hoping some of y'all drop some of these some of y'all gems in here too so so we can get it popping it'll be more natural you're right yeah oh yeah definitely like man on the internet i'm trying to be as natural as possible but i got like lights and and the camera because i'll be trying to do everything i do at a professional level or like trying to make it look good trying to look at appeasing to the eye just because it's just me you know i don't like to have fast what are some of the new things you see coming to the trucking industry selfless driving vehicles is the most thing I, i'm um not selfless the driverless vehicles i'm talking selfless my bad but yeah yeah the um trucks driving they sell i kind of think that that'll be my my exit out though I, i'll probably be out the game before then um, what I see that everybody should be trying to do is figure out how to control the work, focusing on dispatch, focusing on um, trying to get like freight brokerages going, things like that. Hey, Kobe, do you have a CDL? Nope, I absolutely don't. Um, I should. I got, I got the app on my phone. I was going to study for it, but I feel like at this point, I mean, I don't see a good reason why I should even get one. I'm probably only got two more two more years in the, in the game of actually even owning trucks. After two years, I won't even own trucks no more. I'm going to have my brokerage up. I'm going to have my dispatch company going, and that's how I'm going to be doing it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be having – I don't even want to own trucks after two years from the day. Well, two years from November when I bought the trucks. I'll be out the game. Not out of the game completely, just out of owning trucks. Wayne Head Davis Jr. Um better to email or hit you on the igdm i say hit me in the email for sure oh i guess they okay they tagging people i see what happened i see what it is somebody still have to own the self-driving trucks yeah that's a good point though but just think about it. Well, from my hey, look, correct me if I'm wrong. I might be completely fucking wrong about this ideology. But I'm just thinking if the JB Hunts and all of those people got more money than me, to me, in my opinion, they'll be able to go just like how they did with the trailers. Hey, look, we want all of them because we got the money to get them. So what what little person is gonna be able to compete with? When a company is dealing with, they gonna be able to go get brand new trucks. Say they two hundred thousand. How many regular people go? How many trucks are you gonna be able to go get? If they two hundred thousand, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, the brand new trucks that ain't self driving are a hundred eighty thousand right now. So, how much is these trucks gonna cost? It's gonna become big bank take little bank. And like I said, I just don't know if we're gonna be able to compete with them. Am I gonna try to? Yeah. But why? When in three years, I'm, I'm I'm looking at NFTs. I'm trying to buy land in the metaverse. I, I'm already getting myself, I'm going to be delivering loads in the metaverse. 
for real. <laughs> I ain't worried gonna be worried about no truck, and I'm gonna make a billion dollars off this off, off this metaverse and NFTs and all all this um, creative digital content. Like I'm gonna make bread off of this, so I ain't gonna be the truck ain't gonna be the furthest thing from my mind, for real. Kobe elaborate on LTL. I wanted to do this with my team, but wasn't sure Landstar and other companies offer this. Have you did this type of work? Are you saying LTL is just less than truckloads? That's like box truck work or either just not a whole truckload. So I'm not sure exactly what you ask them. Because that's pretty much all LTL is. It's just it's, it's just less than truckload. Blockchain technology and ultimate truck will change the game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. Like I said, I'm on a I'm on that wave, man. I'm taking my money to the to the metaverse. I don't know if y'all paying attention, but y'all see how Facebook can change their name to Meta and they just snatched up all them Apple employees to start building the metaverse and all of that shit. I don't you kind of gotta I'm I'm paying attention to the future. My future ain't gonna be worried about no damn trucks. It's, it's a, for real, it's gonna be a whole lot, a whole lot of money. I'm gonna be making music for the metaverse. <laughs> My fucking ass see me doing some shows out there, so that mess will not work totally. The semi auto driving trucks. I don't, I don't know, but like I said, I just, I'm just looking at all of the other stuff though that's that's going on in the world. That's like crypto. I made so much money off of like crypto last year. And coaching and making content, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna go bigger and be a YouTuber. I make more money off you doing YouTube than I than profit wise. Um, profit wise, anyway. So definitely have to be diversified. Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going into restaurants and and stuff like that. Like trucking, trucking. I'm always having me a look something into trucking, but I'm looking at the future. I want intellectual property. Money you can get paid off over and over again. I'm gonna be writing books and stuff. Those big companies will have to pay their repair bill on those assets. Oh yeah, for sure. They gonna have the money to do it though. They, I mean, they really gonna have the money to do it. I mean, I ain't trying to compete with them. You know, for real. I mean, they got picture. They got twenty thousand trucks right now. I mean, you know how easy it's gonna be for them to go snatch up. They gonna holler at Elon Musk or whoever got them trucks and and be like, hey, hey. Let me get them. They already trying to push us out to get the little small companies out the game anyway right now. That's why all the ELD laws and all of this stuff came. That was the big companies. Those was your Swifts and your Knights and all of them people protesting to get that get that stuff passed because they knew that they could afford the technology because they had already been doing it anyway just to keep track of their drivers. None of that stuff really make a whole, whole lot of sense for real. Yeah, I'm waiting for some more questions to come in. They're coming in, like, I guess delayed a little bit or something. Here we go with the bullshit again. As soon as I get that, I don't know. The camera link went off again. So it's probably my camera going off. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Well, I'm gonna go off. I don't know what um I don't know what happened though, but yeah, this shit did the same thing. All right, so I gotta um I'm gonna get off because I don't know what's what's going on. I changed my cam link and it still ain't working. So hey y'all just meet me on IG. I'm gonna go live on IG.